What's up, collectors? Welcome back to Films by Color. This is a surprise video that I had no idea we were making. We actually just met. This is John. Welcome to the channel, John. Hi. Uh, you know, Hi. John. We were just met in this Barnes & Noble over here because I had a couple movies that I borrowed from him that I needed to return to him. And uh, we were Thanks, just... Thanks, by the way. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thanks for letting me borrow them. Yep. I really enjoyed them. Uh, we were just looking around at the section while we were back there, the Criterion section. And uh, while we were looking, we got the email from Criterion for September releases. So we've never done this before. We are gonna jump in and just, uh, he hasn't even seen them yet. No. I'm gonna kinda see if he can guess them. Give me the description and yeah, see yeah. if I can figure out what the movie is. Read you the I description. Probably, I usually cannot. <laughs> okay, so he's setting the bar low, that's yeah. good. But I'm excited to talk to you about these because I never get to talk to you about the new releases right away. All right, so we've got five new titles here. Okay, this, what, what month is this? September? This is September. Okay. So we're a few months out. All right. This is actually funny because you just picked this one up in the store and looked at it. So this, I'll give you that much. This is a 4K re-release. Okay, of something I just picked you up. You just picked it up in there and you're like, should I get this? Should I, should, do I need to own this? It is a quintessential cult film of the 1980s. You're writing a book on the 1980s right now. Is it Rumblefish? Nope, oh, it's not Rumblefish. Okay, pick that it's one It's not up. Rumblefish. Sorry for the sound. Uh, we do have the windows open because it is a thousand degrees here. So uh, if it sounds, if the sound's not great, sorry about that. But. Is it Repo Man? It is! Ah! It is Repo Man. We are I getting need... a 4K upgrade of Repo Man. Okay. 4K and Blu-ray combo pack. And I always think of this as a Cronenberg thing, but it's not. Yeah. Uh, is it anything like that, though? Is it? Is it pretty hard R? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, it's well, been we, so long since you I saw it. You've got to revisit it. So. I'll revisit it for the project I'm working on. Yeah, he's working on Oh, you mentioned the book. Yeah. It's a book. Secret, top secret 80s book that you're working on. I won't go through the special features. I'm assuming they're all the same as the Blu-ray. Uh, but it's just a 4K upgrade, which is nice. A metaphysical exploration of queer love and loneliness, familial grief and healing, this delicate but audacious chamber drama confirms, I don't know if I want to say the director, is that gonna give it away? Director Andrew Hayes. Uh, Hague. <laughs> Hig, Andrew Hayes. Oh, oh, is it, uh, is it, uh, um... You got it. the name of that you movie from last year? Just last year. All of Us Strangers. All of Us Strangers. Getting a 4K Blu-ray combo pack. Okay. Look at that. I had some issues with that movie. Yeah, it was, I know it wasn't one of your favorites, but you did enjoy it, right? I liked a lot of, a lot of things around it. I really like Andrew Hayes in general. Yeah. In fact, I would like to pick up his... 2011 movie, Weekend. Oh, Weekend. But there is a new conversation with Andrew Hayes. We got a new interview with the cinematographer, behind the scenes documentary and featurettes. No commentary. Sorry, I know you love commentaries, but uh, but that's cool. Subpar that's release, cool. I think. There's the cover. Oh, I like that. All of us strangers. This is not gonna work at all because we're on a car, but no. uh, you guys can look it up. All right, <laughs> next one here. So all of us strangers, very cool. Grace is very excited about that one. She loved that movie last year. She was okay. a big fan. Uh, she texted me immediately as we were walking out of the store. Oh, was like, about... all of us strangers. Yeah, that's the yeah. one she was excited about. Uh, I could see myself picking that up eventually. Okay. I do want to rewatch it, but. Uh, then we have, let me tell the director. Yeah, sure. John McKenzie. Ooh, that doesn't help me. A combustible performance from Bob Hoskins is the fuse that lights this underworld saga, a landmark of British crime cinema. So kind of like Mona Lisa, we got Bob Hoskins, we got say. British crime cinema. It's not Mona Lisa. All right. Hoskins plays Harold Shand, an ambitious London mobster. It's is very it similar. The Long Good Friday? It is! Hey! You got it. That's Long a good, good one. Friday. That's good. Hey, hey, I'm down. If this is anything like Mona Lisa, because I love Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa oh, I, I think I remember this being a little lighter than Mona Lisa, in terms of like, oh, Mona really? Lisa was a little more like, Nighttime, oh, kind literally of lighter. dark London. Okay, kind of, it's the same genre. Okay, so Hagrid probably definitely check it out. This one. That's an old spine number, though, isn't it? Number twenty-six. Yeah. So this is a reissue or an early spine, and number. it is a four K Blu-ray combo. Three in a row, three four K Blu-rays. Well, that's yeah. cool that they're re-releasing that. I like that. That's very cool. That might be a nice companion piece to watch with uh, Mona Lisa. All right, we just had to completely move the car because my phone is in the window recording this and it got a temperature warning and shut off. So we're back and let's go ahead and move on. So this next one, you got three for three. So this next one here that's is- That's pretty good. I'm not gonna get the rest of them. Yeah, these two are tough. I don't know if you need these. Take the okay. conventions of the American teen movie transpose them to Los Angeles' freaky fringes, anchor them in an unapologetic vision of sexual fluidity, uh, and top it all off with heavy doses of Gen X disillusionment. You're Gen X. No. You're a millennial? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think I'm actually like- You're right in the middle. Yeah, I'm like a geriatric millennial, what they call me. <laughs> okay. Which is terrible. But... Gen X disillusionment, <laughs> gonzo violence, and hallucinogenic surrealism. Hey, hey. This is coming this together. That's terrible. And, and you'll great. end up with something like these audacious transgressions from new queer cinema, renegade, gray... Iraqi. Iraqi. Thought it might be that. Yeah, so you know any of his movies? These are from the 90s, 93, 95, and 97. I don't know the titles. Where are they? Uh, the first one is Totally Effed Up. Oh, yeah. The second one is The Doom Generation. Doom Generation. The third one is Nowhere. Doom Generation, I feel like I've... That's the most 
famous. No, those were good, like uh, indies, ninety cinema. So yeah, those were those were probably worth watching. Oh, Rocky Rocky did. Did you ever see Mysterious Skin? That came out in like oh six mm -hmm. with uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt. That was him. That was you know. 10 years later. So, okay. Um, same guy. Sweet. Well, you got a commentary on two of the films. You got a documentary. So lots of stuff to dig into. You interested in those films? 90s? You're not doing a book on 90s, so I guess. Not yet. <laughs> Next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested in that. It's a box set, so it's probably like 100 bucks, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, we haven't been saying the prices, but... That may be. This is 100, but it's right now on sale for 80, and next month it'll be 50. That's true. 50% off. This lighting is so bad, but we had to park under a tree so that uh, we're in the shade and my phone won't explode from the heat. Just gotta do it fast before the... <laughs> yeah, we gotta get back in. All right, one more. We got one more. Let's finish this up. As disturbingly funny as it is audaciously empathetic, a tour of unease Todd Salon's oh. portrait of damaged souls reaching out for connection reveals the existential void underneath middle-class suburban normalcy. Is it happiness? It is happiness! Four for five! I mentioned my that goodness. inside. Look at that. You did? Yeah. Are you serious? Well, that you picked up uh, what, Life and Life and Wartime? Is that what it was called? I think so. And I mentioned this is the one about the the pedophilia movie I mentioned. Oh, good. Spoiler good. alert. <laughs> that probably is a spoiler. Usually, you don't lead with the pedophilia. No, you, I try not to. You, yeah, you lead with a suburban uh, normalcy. And that that scares people off. Yeah, it finds its way in. No pun intended. But we have got lot, not not too many supplements here. Uh, this is just a new conversation with Todd Salons. A uh, new interview with actor Dylan Baker, and that looks like about it. So not crazy on the supplements this month. Interesting. Yeah, I've not seen that. Is that um, Philip Seymour Hoffman? Hoffman. Yeah, that's another okay. tale of Hoffman. <laughs> <laughs> tale. Oh, that'd be fun. Yeah. Do like a box set of his movies and call it Tales of Hoffman. Yeah, call it Tales of Hoffman. Uh, 1998. So lots of 90s stuff. 90s and 80s. So that's September in a nutshell. Uh, thank you for indulging us for a little minute while we play a little game with John. Uh, <laughs> he's got a vast brain full of film knowledge. Well, I'm shocked that I had any clue what those were. Because, yeah, that was really good. Yeah. Uh, the directors help, but yeah. uh, the fact that you know your directors that well is pretty good. But I hope you enjoyed going through those with us. Let us know in the comments which ones you are most excited about. I am most excited about that looking, uh, the Long Good Friday. That one came out of nowhere. I didn't even, it wasn't even on my radar at all. But that Me sounds, too, probably, sounds actually. Interesting. Uh, so I'll be getting that next month. Maybe All of Us Strangers, Grace will probably be picking up next month. Yeah, the Gregor um, Rocket thing is cool, so... Repo Man, maybe finally checking that one off the list. So. I've actually never seen Happiness, I because I like I said, it's about stuff that I don't think I would actually want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's always been kind of, uh, it's very controversial and like kind of a tough sit, I think, but yeah. I... Well, you'll get to that when you do your 90s book. Sure. <laughs> but here's your phone back. Uh, thanks. Man. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for watching. We will talk to you guys real soon. Next month in July, I'm going to hit up a couple stores with you. Right back here. Do some more Criterion shopping, man. It's going to be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. I right. get my money saved up. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any saved. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to take <laughs> out a loan or something. Yep. But anyway, thanks as always, guys, for watching. Until next time, keep collecting, and we'll be back with another video real soon. Bye.